You know, we'd all rather talk about decoys, dogs, calling, or any of the other aspects of waterfowling that make it one of the most fun of all hunting pursuits. But there are certain aspects of firearm safety that duck hunters just really need to focus on. This is largely because it is a pursuit that is rarely done alone. Lone hunters of any type, whether chasing deer, predators, grouse, or elk, have much fewer opportunities to create an unhealthy situation in the field, simply because there's nobody else to drop a gun near them, fire it near their ear, shoot too close to their dog, or point the gun at them while crossing a fence. Waterfowlers, by contrast, well, it's a different story altogether. We crowd into boats, pack ourselves into pits, lay down in rows or blinds hidden even from each other, yet within arm's distance, and so forth. While it is not too tough to responsibly avoid pointing your muzzle at another hunter, it is quite difficult to avoid ringing another hunter by firing off your shotgun in the vicinity of someone else's hearing. Ducks in particular are not easy critters to hit, which is what makes the sport so fun, but as hunters get focused on the birds that are fleeing the scene after a successful decoy job, inevitably somebody continues swinging and firing away until their muzzle creates a deafening blast for another hunter who is somewhere near the end of it. This is because shotguns are infinitely louder toward the end of the barrel than to the person pulling the trigger. Periodically, a hunter will experience this awful noise in a crowded blind, even in polite company, and much more often in trigger-happy company. Let's start with hearing. First is the foam earplugs. Simply insert them into your ears. They provide great protection. Next up, up are muffs. They're effective, but are a bit bulky. The last option is the in-the-ear electronics. They amplify the ambient sounds, but reduce same dangerous sound levels like a shotgun blast. Next up, gun handling. Safe gun handling can be a challenge in duck and goose hunting. We are tempted to lean gun barrels against slick blinds and aluminum boat gunnels or not pay attention while laying down in cornfields. Don't do it. Being constantly aware of the end of your gun barrel is critical. Even when that gun is unloaded, and there are many times in the field when we should unload it, it should always be treated like it is loaded and dangerous. Mud and dirt can cause malfunctions, especially in pumps and semi-auto shotguns. Clearing jams and malfunctions while pointing in a safe direction is critical and can be difficult in cramped blinds. Having a cleaning kit like a Hoppy's boar snake to clean out barrel obstructions can keep you out in the field. When hunting in a group, determine your zones of fire and be disciplined to stick to those zones when it's time to leap up and shoot. For these reasons, the rule is simple. Don't ever let your gun point at anything or anyone you do not wish to shoot, ever. Be aware of who is next to you and wear eye and hearing protection at all times. And don't shoot the dog. Dogs do not have common sense and they are not shotgun muzzle conscious. This means it's 100% on you to know exactly where hunting dogs are at all times. And when you don't, you simply don't shoot. The excitement of the hunt is the reason we love it so much. Just don't let your excitement get the better of you when it comes to gun safety in the field.